Hi guys, today I am excited to be demonstrating how PowerShell GPT brings speech-to-speech -speech and code execution capabilities to Anthropic's Claude models. Computer. Run some C-sharp code in memory that minimizes the windows. I don't want any options. Just the code that minimizes the windows when run. This command extracts the type of app we want the model to create and gives it to Claude with a prompt telling it how to write the code so that it executes. As soon as Claude finishes writing the code, it is detected by PowerShell GPT, which then executes it accordingly. As you can see, this can be quite effective. I'll create a C-sharp application that minimizes all windows when run. This will use the Windows API to perform the minimization without requiring any user interaction. This code creates a C-sharp application that uses the Windows API to enumerate all visible windows, checks if each window is visible and has a title, minimizes each valid window it finds, outputs a confirmation message when complete. The application runs immediately upon execution with no user interaction required. It accesses the necessary Windows API functions through P and invoke to minimize all open windows. As well as executing the code that's generated, Claude's output is sent to the text-to-speech engine so you can hear its output being spoken. Great! The Window Minimizer application has executed successfully. As confirmed by the PowerShell output, all visible windows on your system have been minimized. The application worked by successfully compiling the C-sharp code in memory, using Windows API functions to enumerate all open windows, applying the minimize command to each visible window, completing the operation with the confirmation message. The Ratchim technique allowed this to run entirely in memory without creating any temporary files on disk, making it efficient and clean. Is there anything else you'd like to do with window management in C-sharp, or would you like to try a different type of application? PowerShell GPT allows you to take these large language models to another level. It turns them into agents that can actually carry out real-world actions instead of just generating text. The text-to-speech is a demonstration of the application's powerful AI-controlled injection browser. This allows your AI agent access to over 1,400 voices in 90 languages. I've got to say a big thanks to Chris down there at LazyPy for making this possible. I mean, the sheer number of voices is just amazing. You've got Stream Element voices, Google voices, Bing Translate voices. Some of the TikTok voices are pretty cool, like the Ghostface voice and the Olin Tecker's voice. With all these voices to choose from, you can have loads of fun and give your agent some character. I've put a link to the app in the description, or you can head over to PowerShellGPT.com for more info. Until the next time, have fun, stay safe.